Welcome to this video in which we will explore the practice known as Atma Vichara, the practice of self inquiry, inquiry into the nature of this thing called the Atma. So first of all, you will need to adopt a comfortable and steady seated posture. That could be kneeling, it could be cross-legged, or you could be sat with the legs stretched out in front of you. You could be using props to help you. And of course, you could even be sat upon a chair. We have created a video in the past taking you through all those various options. So, in these video notes, I will direct you, direct you towards that video. So I'll just give you a few moments more just to come into that comfortable and steady seated pose. Once there, we'll adopt a hand gesture. I, either the chin or the Gyan Mudra. So you take both hands and you allow the tip of the thumb and the index finger of each hand to gently come into contact. The rest of the fingers are gently outstretched. Relax the hands down, place them on the tops of the legs. And if the hands are facing downwards, then this is the Gyan Mudra, the gesture of knowledge or of wisdom. If you prefer, you can have the hands so the palms face upwards. We call this the Chin Mudra, the gesture of consciousness. So choosing your preference. And then allow the eyes, please, to softly, gently close. Feel yourself dropping down into that gentle presence and gentle stillness. Inviting the whole of your body to deeply relax, soften, and to become still. Relaxing the abdomen, relaxing the shoulders, the face and the jaw are soft and relaxed. Checking you're not holding tension in any other part of the body. Feel yourself deeply rooted, connected in touch with the earth beneath you and upwards from those deep roots. Feel yourself growing tall through the spine. Do check the alignment of the head in its place nicely on top of the spine. The body is soft, relaxed and still. Like some ancient oak tree that's been around for hundreds of years. Now direct your awareness to the breath. You are following the path of each inhale. Noticing the momentary natural pause at the top of the breath and then following the path of the exhale. Again that sweet and gentle pause before the next breath begins. In this way remaining aware of each and every breath, lengthening and deepening the breath, allowing each breath to bring you ever more into that gentle stillness and presence. We will begin our journey of inquiry 
by taking some time to observe the outside world via the senses. So first of all, become aware of the sense of sound, listening, listening to all of the sounds around you, not focusing on any particular sound, just that sense that you're listening to the whole of the present moment. Now turning your attention towards the sensation of touch. And that can include the contact that your body makes with the earth beneath you. Parts of the body in contact with one another. A feeling of fabric on the skin and even the soft touch of air upon the skin. All sensations of touch. Briefly becoming aware of the sense of smell, just noticing if there are any smells, however faint, in your current surroundings. Aware also now of the sense of taste. Are there any lingering sensor, sensations of taste in the mouth? And finally, even though the eyes are closed at this point, you can still observe and notice any patterns, colours, the images, anything occurring behind the closed eyes. Reflecting upon how this outside world changes. Indeed, change is one of its distinctive qualities. So on the longest scale of your surroundings, no, no doubt look very different now than they did a million years ago, or even just a couple of centuries ago. On a small and more immediate scale, we see change with the course of the years, and from season to season. At the time of recording this video, we are currently undergoing the transition to autumn. The colours changing, the weather and the light changing. Reflecting on how that is true at the time of year you are practising. And of course, we experience change in the outside world from moment to moment. Now I'd like you to focus and centre your attention upon your body, upon your physical body. Just notice the heaviness and the seeming solidity of the body. The feeling of having a body. Reflecting upon how that too changes over time. How did it feel to be in your body when you were a child? 
or a teenager or a decade ago or maybe a decade or two in the future. Now, one of the great certitudes and inevitabilities of life is that the body changes over time in ways that we don't always necessarily find desirable. But it is true that the body changes. Just reflecting upon how we can observe and witness the body and its changes in this way. Who or what is doing that witness? And does it make any sense to say, therefore, that I am the body? Who am I? Now I'd like you to turn your awareness towards that thing we call the mind. And just as you observe the outside world and the body, you now observe and witness your own mind, watching thoughts as they naturally and inevitably arise. Reflecting upon how the mind changes. You thought and saw the world, no doubt, somewhat differently as a child and then as a teenager, a decade ago. Your mind will undoubtedly change again as we progress into the future. But on a smaller scale, of course, our mind changes all of the time, from day to day and from moment to moment. The Buddha is said to have remarked that those who identify themselves with the body are at least on firmer ground than those who identify themselves with the mind, because the mind is a very changeable and restless thing indeed. And yet we can still have that sense of quietly observing and watching the mind, the activities, the fluctuations of the mind. And who or what is doing that witnessing? Who am I? Turning to an even deeper layer, we have the energy body or the pranic body. This too changes. So some days we may feel full of energy and buoyance, other days we may feel sluggish and low on energy. But again, we can watch and observe these changes as they take place. So we can see that there is change everywhere, in the outside world, in our own body, in our own minds, in energetic states. Now the question is, is there something behind and beyond that that is unchanging? This is the inquiry.
Uh, the Buddhists, for example, taught a doctrine of anatman or no self, that there is no such unchanging, abiding self, and that all there is in this universe is change and flux. But there's other thinkers, including the sages of the Upanishads, who suggested that there was something that remains still and centered. We can observe and witness all of the changes that go on around you. Can you connect with that, with that place of quiet inner stillness, your atman, your essence nature? Quietly watching and witnessing the world around you, your own body, your own mind. I now invite you to spend some more moments in that place of inner quiet stillness of being the witness. Witnessing the world around you, your own body, your mind. Allowing this question just to keep re-emerging. Who am I? Is there a feeling of what it is to be you that remains steady and constant over time and continues to, to be in that quiet stillness, witnessing in your most joyous moments? in your darkest moments. Looking to abide, repose in that place. We shall now begin to gradually and gently re-externalise. First of all, turning your awareness towards the breath. Noticing that physical sensation of breathing, the air entering through the nasal passageways, feeling the body, and then the air leaving through the nasal passageways.
the whole body in this way, being gentle and loving and brave. From the breath to the body, just becoming aware again of your body, the physicality of it, the solidity of it, in contact with the earth beneath. And then from the body to the outside world, just observing again any sounds, any movements in that world around you. In a moment, I'll be ringing a bell three times. And that's your indication that it's time just to bring movement back into the body and slowly, slowly start to open your eyes, bringing yourself back into your space. So, gently, you can now transition into going about your business, whatever you need to do next. Trying to keep some of that stillness with you. And I invite you to keep revisiting this meditation as much as you can, ideally, on a daily basis spending some time just to drop down into this gentle presence and gentle stillness of inquiring into the Atman, the Self, seeing what you find in your own experience. So until next time, Namaste. Thank you very much for taking the time yourself and to practice, explore this wonderful practice.